Today we're talking about a rye whiskey that extremely exceeded my expectation and it comes from the state of Texas. Let's talk about that today on the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So as I had mentioned, we are talking about a rye whiskey from the state of Texas that extremely exceeded my expectations when I sat down with this. It became a rye whiskey that was almost hard to stop drinking. Between myself and my wife really truly enjoyed what this one had to offer. So we'll talk a little bit about what this one specifically is. And as you can see the bottle right here, from Still Austin, out of Austin, Texas. Again, brand that's quickly become, for me, maybe my favorite overall uh, Texas brand. So I'm looking forward to really kind of diving into this one for you guys today. So what exactly does this rye have to offer? So again, this is the Still Austin Straight Rye Whiskey. Coming in at 99.6 proof, this is a mash bill of 100% rye, again, of which they are sourcing from as local to them as possible. So again, that 100% rye mash bill, again, something very slightly different, but gonna make this a little bit more of a unique rye whiskey. It's non-age stated and comes in at right around that $50 price point. So let's go ahead and dive into this color-wise. As you can see, this kind of medium burnt orange, uh, medium kind of caramel note, moving the whiskey around the glass a little bit. Decent oils for the most part. I wouldn't say it's the most oily, pretty decent oils on the glass. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the nose. That really beautiful burnt orange, orange zest, maybe even a little bit of like an orange marmalade. It is very heavy on the orange or marmalade uh, citrus uh, side of things with a little bit of that zest that's there. There's a little bit of a a little bit of a zinger, so to speak, on, on this one. Even a hint of like a, a chocolate, maybe even a spicy chocolate, that rye is kind of starting to kick in. And that was one of the things I noted as I sat down with this thing prior is that as it opens up, that rye spice really starts to build extremely, extremely well. Beautiful baking spices on this. There's a really nice dark like richness to it. There's something that's heavy, a little bit like earthy there without it being off-putting. Nice mint notes. There's a little bit of this kind of almost pastry kind of note to it. And again, at something that's sub 100 proof, it's pretty bold on the nose so far. A little bit of, again, like I had mentioned before, this earthiness that I always kind of I want to identify it as like a tea, like a like a green tea. It's not overly pungent, but there's there's a little bit of that kind of like almost a green tea with some sweetness that's there to it. Maybe a little hint of honey. Again, more of that like kind of orange citrus zest marmalade. There's a really, really fantastic orange profile to this. A little more of that honey is coming out, maybe even a little bit of like a graham cracker on this. More dark fruits really starting to come out on this one. Maybe it's kind of some cherry. There's also a hint of like this melon kind of note to it as well. This thing is kind of all over the place, which is pretty cool considering that we're talking about all these flavors and notes coming from a whiskey that again is sub 100 proof. It's also giving me this slight kind of malty feel to it. There's something about that. I don't know if that's the the pastry kind of notes or what that is, but there's this really interesting maltiness that's there to it. More importantly, let's see what this one's gonna taste like. Cheers. So first I wanna address the, the mouthfeel. Pretty creamy, fantastic spice to it immediately. Again, more of that burnt orange, orange citrus, maybe even a slight marmalade kind of note but incredible, incredible spice to it. Maybe a little thin on the palate, but overall, I think that explosion of, of orange citrus, zestiness, maybe some mint, nice barrel influence to it. Maybe a little hint of that kind of spicy chocolate note to it. Also, there's this like honey or honey graham cracker note to it. This thing just keeps kind of evolving and 
it's very interesting that with this being sub 100 or, or just almost 100 proof, the amount of flavor on both the nose and the palate, this thing offers up an awful lot. It's drinking much more along the lines of a whiskey that would be up in that 110, 115 proof point from a flavor standpoint. It's not drinking like that hot. I think it's drinking right around that 100 proof kind of point. But overall, I think that flavor profile that it has to offer is something that feels like it would be a higher proof whiskey. Just overall, it just fits or hits my palate and profile fantastically. This is why I've come to love what it is that Still Austin is doing. Their products that they continue to put out just seem to hit a lot of those marks that I think a lot of people are truly looking for in a whiskey, whether it's a, a high rye bourbon or their straight rye whiskey. It just offers up a tremendous profile for what these whiskeys are. If you've tried any of their cast strength uh, whiskeys, whether it be their bourbons or their ryes, they just have done an incredible job. And there's probably a reason for that. With Nancy Fraley being behind these, it's no mystery as to why these whiskeys taste the way they do at these proofs. She's an absolute genius in the, in the whiskey industry. And you can see what it is she's allowing these whiskeys to do and or develop. Uh, I, it's really just hard to give someone any more credit for what it is they're they're doing but uh, she and they combined are doing an absolutely incredible job with the flavors profiles of of really all of their whiskeys see with that kind of last sip there was some more of those dark fruits that were kind of coming out maybe even a little bit of a a kind of coffee note uh, maybe espresso something along those lines but even again, I keep harping on the fact that it's less than 100 proof. I'm trying to convey that the flavor profiles that are on this whiskey are, again, drinking much higher than, than what they are. It's just offering a fantastic, fantastic profile for what this is. If we kind of talk a little bit about the finish, again, I'm going to say it's, it's all of medium plus. You know, lots of those big, heavy, bold flavors, more of that kind of orange zest, marmalade, good barrel notes, a lot of spice on this one, fruit notes that are there, more of that kind of espresso or coffee bean kind of note. It has all of those rich rye characteristics that someone would really truly appreciate if you like a rye whiskey. And again, what it is I think that they've done with this is hands down one of the better or best sub 100 proof rye whiskeys that I've had in some time. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Again, if this is a brand that you're not overly familiar with or have maybe been kind of on the fence or, or seeking out, definitely check out what it is they're doing. I think there's something within their whole kind of lineup that will work for each person individually. Again, what I've talked about today, if you're a Rye fan, I think this is something that you absolutely love. So with that, thank you again so much for tuning in. If you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. If you'd like to help support the channel and become part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description below. Remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.